I want to take this time to discuss seeing confusion. I already made a remind video, actually two, in which I've spoken about the spirits of betrayal and the spirits of confusion. I hope you've watched them. If you haven't watched them, watch them before continuing watching this video. Thank you very much. Look, I've spoken about the spirits, spirits of confusion, how they operate. Now I want to talk about seeing confusion. Because understand this, when something happens to you that you're not aware of, that thing that happens to you has an effect on you. But because you are not aware it happens to you, you're, not, you're also not aware of the effect it has on you. But it doesn't take away that effect is there. So the effect has a hold on you. So whoever did that to you has a hold on you. And whoever sees it also has an advantage over you because you can't see it. So it's important to have the right perception. If your perception is dark, you're in big trouble. Look, seeing confusion simply means seeing through the deception. Look, let me give an illustration, okay? You have someone in a restaurant, they're chatting with some friends, then someone else comes by and says, shut the F up, or else I'm going to knock you out. That's a threat, physical. That individual that comes with threat is violent. Now he's direct with his will, but his will is negative. He wants to have control on someone else to feel validated. Well, he's so-called honest, according to the world. No, he's not honest. Honesty would be, he would evaluate himself, realize in a minute, why do I want control over someone else? And he would repent and walk away. That's honesty. Well, because that includes the safety of himself and others. What he did is just being blunt in a violent manner. And But this is an extreme example. Or others would say, if you just don't like something, someone just say it, be honest. That's not honesty. Okay. That is being that is being aggressively violent, yet claiming to be real. You being unreal in your attitude, but you claim it's real, and you enforce others to accept it as real, under threat. Now that's confusion right over there. Another form of confusion. You have people smiting, or I'm say hitting children, saying it's for their own good. While you wouldn't even dare lay your hands like that on an adult, because you would be in big trouble also with the law because you assaulted someone. So it's okay to lay your hands on a helpless human being just because you're annoyed at what they're doing? Come on now. That's confusion right over there. But people that have been exposed to confusion over and over again, after all, they don't see it anymore. But confusion still affects them. I said it before, confusion causes you to see things backwards. So confusion works out just like gaslighting. You begin to doubt your own sanity. You begin to doubt your own natural abilities. Even if your natural abilities are working perfectly fine, you will still malfunction because you doubt it because that's the effect of confusion. Confusion is not the same as a contradiction. A contradiction is that a contradiction. Or an inconsistency is when something is done, but it's done not in the same manner throughout the whole Thing. For example, you have a text in which there are references, but you have two reference styles in it. Instead of having just one style that makes it um, clear for everyone that reads it. Confusion is not the same as a contradiction nor uh, an inconsistency. Now, a confusion can include an, an inconsistency or, an, or a contradiction, but it doesn't always have to. Confusion is simply... When one thing is being done, while well, claimed it's something else. Or when something else is being claimed, but the opposite is working out. But you don't know the opposite is working out because you see things backwards. That is what confusion is. And I'm telling you, in a world of deception, confusion is the rule. Let me repeat that because this needs to get through to you. In a world of deception, that is the world we live in now, confusion is the rule. That means most people don't see confusion. They don't even notice it. But it still affects them. But they're not even aware of the effect. That's how Satan keeps people blind. That's how he keeps them trapped. Look. When people 
are attached to confusion and you operate in clarity, I'm telling you, those people that are holding on to confusion, they'll become uncomfortable around you. Why? Because you see through stuff. And because of that, they feel intimidated by you. Why? Because here's the thing. You, because you're operating clarity, you notice things and your alertness freaks them out. Because because of you, they, they begin to sense things they never sensed before. Because when you are in confusion, you become numb to the side effects of confusion. But when you encounter someone then who operates in clarity, the one that operates in clarity will, pro will trigger the side effects of the confusion you're numb to. For example, you can have someone that often goes to parties and drinks a lot. Okay, that happens often. But let's say that this individual is knocking down emotional trauma. Where there's a feeling of abandonment by the parents or the, the boyfriend broke up, broke up the relationship or whatever it is. The individual, him or self, is not aware of the side effects anymore. The, the, he or she just goes to, let me say it's a she, she just goes to parties, drinks a lot, and has, so called has a good time. She doesn't sense that emotional pain anymore. But let's say now she encounters someone who, do, who may go to parties also, but she is sober, she is at her right mind. If she remains around her for a long period, long period of time, she begins to feel uncomfortable. Why? Because she is in denial. She's not aware she's in denial, but others who are alert will notice it. And when she begins to notice it, she, she becomes frightened because now she's sensing the pain. But she doesn't want to sense any pain. So what happens now? She will remove herself from the one that triggers, so according to her, is serving the pain. That means the one that operates in clarity. And people that operate in clarity are exceptions. Most people, consciously or unconsciously, now, they're not doing it, forgive me, they're not doing it consciously because it's very hard to remain in confusion consciously. Most people, they are in confusion because the devil has a grip on them. They just don't see it. And here's the thing, they don't even want to see it because then they need to face things. I'm telling you, it's important for you to see confusion for what it is. When you can't see confusion, you can be led into anything. That's why it's important to look at the bigger picture. Because when you don't look at the bigger picture, you're already trapped. And here's the thing, confusion keeps you from looking at the bigger picture. Confusion keeps you centered on either the thing that you like or the thing you dislike. Confusion blocks you from looking beyond. Here's another thing, just because someone operates in confusion doesn't mean that they are freaking out and falling on the ground and all of that. You can have people that function relatively okay according to societal standards. They go to their jobs, they say yes sir, yes man, they look on the streets well before they cross the road. So they can function externally. So externally they function well. But when you get too close to them, you realize they are, they are confused. And it's only after a while that the confusion becomes clear. There's another form of confusion that the enemy often uses also. When the enemy points out the confusion of someone else, it's to distract you, you from seeing something with you that you need to be delivered from. You can have someone that belongs to a cult. And in this cult, they celebrate a lot of holidays. But now, this individual is being highlighted about the confusion of another group. And indeed, that confusion is true. But because the, in the, the cult member is so aware of the confusion of the other group, the cult member is blind from seeing the confusion he's in him or herself. That's why always look at the bigger picture and agree with Christ. Be Christ-centered. Be at peace.